Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mac TV. Today, we'd like to share how to solve this cubic equation. Firstly, I'm going to list all the coefficients. I have a is equal to 4, b equal to negative 24, c equal to 23, while d is equal to 18. And the second information that I have here is that the roots are in aromatic progression. Recall that for any aromatic progression, the n term is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 multiply the difference. Since I have used a and d for the coefficients of the equation, to avoid confusion, we should use other dummies. Let's say replace a with k while m for d. Therefore, the first term is equal to k, the second term is equal to k plus m, while the third term is equal to k plus 2m. Now let's solve for the equation. Recall that for any cubic equation, the sum of root is equal to negative b over a, while the product of root is equal to negative negative d over a, which means that if we take the first term plus the second term plus the third term, we should obtain negative negative 24 over 4. Simplify, we should obtain 3k plus 3m is equal to 6. Divide both sides with a factor of 3, and we obtain k plus m is equal to 2. In other words, k is equal to 2 minus m. On the other hand, if we take k, multiply k plus m, multiply k plus 2m is equal to negative 18 over 4. Let's replace k with 2 minus m. And simplify the right hand side, we obtain negative 9 over Two. So we should have 2 minus m, 2 minus m plus m is equal to 2, while 2 minus m plus 2m is equal to 2 plus m, and this is equal to negative 9 over 2. I'm going to divide both sides with a factor of 2, which means that I should have 2 minus m multiplied 2 plus m is equal to negative 9 over 4. As we can see, the left hand side is a set of conjugates, and the product is pretty simple. That is a square minus b square. In other words, we have 4 minus m square, and this is equal to negative 9 over 4. Let's rearrange the equation. Negative m square move to the right. Negative becomes positive, which means that we have positive m square. 4 remain on the left, then bring negative 9 over 4 to the left. Negative becomes positive, which means that we have m square is equal to 25 over 4. Square root both sides, we obtain plus minus 5 over 2. We don't have to really bother about the plus minus sign, since this would just affect the order of the roots, either in ascending order or descending order. So we just have to solve for k by using one of the values. I'm going to take positive value that is m is equal to 5 over 2 which means that k is equal to 2 minus 5 over 2 and we obtain negative 1 over 2 if the first term is equal to negative 1 over 2 which means that the second term is equal to negative 1 over 2 plus 5 over 2 which is equal to 2 while the third term is equal to negative 1 over 2 plus 2 times of 5 over 2 and this equal to 9 over 2. Therefore, the roots are negative 1 over 2, 2 and 9 over 2. And this is when m is equal to 5 over 2. We obtain answer in ascending order. On the other hand, if we take negative number that is negative 5 over 2, our answer should in descending order that is from bigger value to a smaller value. However, we should obtain exactly the same set of roots regardless the plus minus sign of m value as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.